Howdy! Hey, let's get started with Magic Arc app. I'm holding an Android tablet and Chromecasting it to a TV, recording the TV screen. So, my Android has to go up the internet and back down the internet to the Chromecast. That can make it a little slow sometimes, but let's click the app for the program. And now we're in what's called portrait mode. I'm holding the Android tablet with the long edge going up and down. That's portrait mode. If I turn the tablet 90 degrees in my hand, then we get what's called landscape mode. And landscape mode is much better for multi-lane racing or digital racing with multi-cars because it uses all of the screen real estate. Okay, on the left-hand side of the display just below the icon for the app, is the version number and you can see this is 125 and then there's an orange button to click to support magic we really appreciate all his hard work so be sure you support him and then we'll click the gray button to enter the main page okay and this is the main page of the app where it says create a new race and I've got two races created quick race and six car but what I want you to notice is up at the top of the screen in the dark blue band where it says arc disconnected that means the app isn't talking to the power base by bluetooth so let me go on over and turn on my power base Okay, and now you see the icon says Arc Pro instead of Disconnected. If you're talking in digital or talking in analog, it's going to say Arc Pro. If you're not talking, it's going to say Disconnected, so something to be aware of. Also in that top right blue band on the right side are three lines, and if you click on those, you'll see a menu. Um, the most important item is at the top, General Configuration, which Magic calls a hamburger. And then we have cars, drivers, pace cars, import a database, and export a database. And if you have a problem, sometimes Magic might ask you to export your database and send it to him in email. Let's click on the hamburger, the general configuration, and see what we get. First at the top, text-to-speech. That's how we get fastest lap, driver one, or um, any of the other nice sounds that are played during the, the race. So text-to-speech needs to be on. Next, we see the default colors for six drivers. And if you don't like those colors, you can just click that gray button that says Change. And there, a menu will come up. And you see you have red, green, and blue values and sliders. So you can move a slider, and you'll see the color change. Also, on the lower left side, there's six digits of hex. And uh, you can do some research on the internet with their HTML color pickers. And if there's a particular color that really works good for you, you can get the six hex digits and uh, just plug those in right here. I'm going to leave that all the same as a default. Just click cancel. The next line down, we see information's color type. We'll let the uh, Chromecast catch up here. Okay, information's color type, and if you click on that, you got a couple of options. There's a dialog box that opens up and it says car ID or fixed. That means the lap timing and, uh, and scoring information will be displayed in either the default color for the car ID or the color you've selected for the car ID, or you can click fixed. If you click fixed, it, the program will use that information's color that you see in the next line down, which is kind of a yellowish white, and all the lap timing and scoring for every car will appear in that color. That's really easy to see. I like it a lot. Recommend using it. Next, speed units. Um, MA2, Magic Arc, Arc app, um, times your car as it goes across the two sensors in the power base track, and that's where you get the speed information and you can select your units there. Um, next we see driver order and that relates to the display. Do we see six cars just in order one, two, three, four, five, six by their ID which gives us a static leaderboard 
or do we see position? And that means the cars will move up and down on the leaderboard as they go up to P1 or all the way down to P6. I like the dynamic leaderboard, um, so select position and that's what you get. Uh, next, pit stop request. How do we select a pit stop? Uh, how, uh, there you see what the options are. None, brake, lane change, lane change and brake. And I just use the brake button. Um, pit stop weight, yellow flags method. Um, here when we click on this, we've got three options. None, lane change and brake, which means you push those two buttons on your controller. Or no acceleration, which means the program detects a zero speed signal from the um, hand controller and automatically calls a, a track call. Um, right now, that's a little buggy. Doesn't work well with pit stops, but Magic says he's got it fixed, so the fix will probably be out in the next program version 126 or very soon. Yellow flag wait time, KERS power. Interesting thing to know about KERS, if you use it, you actually um, reduce the max power that you have available during the race. You only have max power when the KERS is, is active. So something to know about using KERS. Um, next we see fuel consumption ratio and tire wear. And you can select whether or not to have uh, fuel burn or tire wear in each individual race. Um, and here you can set what the overall rate will be. Okay. Then pit refuel time and pit tire change time. That should be self-explanatory, hopefully. So that's the uh, general configuration menu. And give me a moment. We'll set up and show you how to make a race and, and start it.